Hi everybody, my name is Hui Huing and I'm a member of Team 2. There are four of us in the team. It's me, Flamberry, Kirk, and Bill. When the user first enters the training, he or she can select new user tutorial mode to be walked through each step to operate the crane. The user will be guided through each step to get familiar with the functionality of the crane. First, the user turns on the engine. Once a task is finished, he or she can move on to the next task. The first lever is used to rotate the crane right and left, pushing it forward to rotate the crane to the right, and vice versa. A sound effect will play to notify the user has reached the target. The second lever is used to raise and lower the boom arm. Pushing it forward allows the boom to raise and vice versa. The third lever is to extend and retract the boom arm. Pushing it forward, the boom will extend and vice versa. The fourth lever controls the hook of the crane. It starts to come down when we push the lever forward. Pull pulling the lever backward allows the hook to raise up. At the end of the tutorial, the user turns off the engine and returns to the main menu. For users who return to the application, or for those who feel confident after the tutorial, he or she can enter the practice mode to practice picking up an assigned object, carry and drop it to the designated area. The assigned object to pick up is highlighted in yellow and green for target area. The timer starts when the user turns on the engine and stops when the engine is off. It is only shown on the main menu when the user returns. There are sound effects when different parts of the crane are moving to increase the realism and feedback to the users. On the right hand side of the cab, there is a mirror to bring in the sense of the environment to the user. At the end, the user turns off the engine and go back to the main menu to see the result. The timing on the right, which is showing 1 minute 48 seconds. The score on the left, the maximum score is 9 and the minimum is 0. We divided the target into 9 equal squares to calculate the score. Next to it showing an image of how well the user did during the practice section. The number of red squares in the image equals to the score of the user. Last but not least, to bring the, our application even closer to our user, we decided to implement and develop a bilingual support system. The two languages are English and Spanish. This way, the training will be most effective for users whose native language is not English but Spanish, and also to increase the freedom of our users to work with the language of their choice by switching between the two. We as a team decided to beside the minimum viable product requirement to implement additional features to the application such as audio, bilingual support, 
and new user tutorial. Thank you very much for listening.